Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. So if any of you guys follow me on any of my other social medias or have seen some of my recent videos or tune in some of my Twitch live streams, yes, I'm a Twitch thought now, I know, crazy. But yeah, if you guys have seen any of that, you will know that I have added a new family member, which is this sexy thing right here. And I've actually added two new ones. Uh, there is this one here as well. So I just wanted to record this video for you guys so you can see the specs of everything and we can welcome our two newbies to this channel. Uh, these are both Kiesel guitars, I am a Kiesel artist and I absolutely love their guitars but this isn't an ad or it's not a sponsor or anything like that so I can give my honest opinion here guys. Sorry if you can hear my cat meowing in the background, she's currently on heat and she is a horny little fucker at the moment so um, we're just gonna have to try and ignore that. Okay so first up we have this big boy which you may have seen in my recent video You Give Love a Bad Name by Bon Jovi. This is a Kiesel C6 model which is a 24 fret carved top. It has a black limber body, which you can see the natural wood there, which is actually beautiful. And it has a quilted maple top, and it also has like the natural wood binding uh, here connecting them, which is really pretty. I'm a massive fan of black limber. Um, my original guitar was a black limber body as well. It gives very similar tonal characteristics to mahogany, but it's just a lot lighter, so it feels a lot more comfortable for me, and I can do gigs with it and just sort of feel more free to do all the silly tricks and throw it around and do all of that stuff. As you can see, it's got this beautiful like dark purple to this like pinky kind of corally fade. I basically gave the guys over at Kiesel kind of a bit of creative freedom to do whatever they wanted with this. I said, you know, I sort of gave them the colour scheme and I was like, just see what happens. And this is what they did. And I think they absolutely nailed it. I thought maybe it was a little bit garish at first, but the more I kind of look at it and the more I play with it, the more I actually love the finish. And it's got the uh, matching headstock as well there. So on the back it has a maple five piece neck with these two purple heart stripes going down it and it's got a satin finish as well which just looks and feels so nice and smooth so there's no friction there, super easy to move up and down the neck really quickly. The only thing that like actually really annoys me is that the clear gloss finish which is on the body goes up about an inch onto the neck and um, it doesn't like get in the way or anything like that, it's just that my OCD brain is annoyed that it doesn't end exactly where the body is, it's kind of unsatisfying. I don't know whether you can see that. And on the front we have got an ebony fingerboard um, with white pearl block inlays. On my original Kiesel, uh, which is here, yeah, this one, I had um, the Albalone, Alablone, Alabone, I never know how to say that, Albalone. Abalone. They were the staggered dot inlays, which looked really, really cool, but I actually found them quite difficult to see, especially on the Royal Ebony fingerboard. So um, it was very easy for like me to get lost and stuff because there wasn't, you know, definite markers of where like the fifth fret is and seventh fret is and everything like that. So um, with this one, I wanted to make it as obvious as possible. So when I do get lost and mess up, I will have no one and nothing to blame but myself. Uh, the frets are stainless steel jumbo frets and the neck has a 14 inch radius and I actually um, decided to go for the thinner neck profile as well as I have quite small hands and I just find it easier to play on a slightly thinner neck. And of course it has this great shape at the back so that you can get right down to the 24th fret with um, no problem at all, nothing getting in the way. Now up here on the body we have a hip shot tremolo system. I definitely wanted a guitar with a whammy bar this time, so I've been having a lot of fun with that. And it actually stays in tune really, really well. Like I hate Floyd Roses with a burning passion, so I knew I definitely didn't want one of them. So I'm so glad they have this option that still holds the tuning really, really well. Down here we have a three-way blade and there is also a um, push-pull pop on the tone to split the pickups. The pickups themselves are Kiesel lithium passive pickups and they have chrome covers as well. And we've got chrome hardware sort of throughout the whole guitar, except actually on this three-way switch. I don't know whether you can see, but it's um, gold. And that's just another very minor detail that annoys me way more than it should do. And finally, the strings on this are 10 to 46. So it actually took me quite a while to get used to this guitar as it's a bit of a different shape and it's got quite different playability to my original one. I'd say this one is slightly harder for me to play personally. The original one was like great. Yes, I know, Looney. She's going crazy. Oh, look at you. What do you think of the guitar, Looney? Do you like? 
But yeah, the original guitar was great, like straight out of the box. I didn't really have to touch it or anything. But with this one, I did have to mess around with the action a little bit to get it set up exactly how I wanted, which is totally fine. A lot of guitars, you do have to do that. Um, it's still not quite there. I need to experiment a little bit more. Um, so that it can be low enough that it's easy to do those kind of shred things, it's easy to sweep and tap on, but it doesn't choke the strings when you do those high bends. So I'm still trying to find that sweet spot a little bit better. Uh, Sound-wise, you guys heard it in the uh, Bon Jovi shred that I did. If you haven't heard that, I'll put it up in the eye or something and also in the description below so you can check it out after this video. And um, I'm sure I'll be doing many more videos with it as well. But um, it's very versatile, it's got really, really good sustain. Um, it's got a great tone, but I do think it is a little bit thin sounding, um, at least compared to, you know, my my old one here, which has which had a really nice kind of round tone to it. I think I may end up switching out the pickups for maybe Demazio or EMGs or something, as I definitely usually prefer a more beefy full sound. And with the whammy bar and all of that, it's a shame not to have that really full sound. Okay, so that is my thoughts on this one. It is time to move on to the other one. Okay, so now on to this sexy thing. I haven't really had any pictures or videos with this one yet, other than like a couple of Twitch live streams and stuff. So I think this is its big reveal. Ta-da! <laughs> the most anticlimactic reveal ever. So this is a Kiesel SH6, which is a semi-hollow with 24 frets. So you can see it's got this F hole here, which is really, really cool. I wanted something a little more versatile and sort of something I could use for, that would sound really cool on like clean tones and for chordal stuff. And I went a little bit less shreddy with this one, which I think they've done a absolutely great job with. So this is a mahogany body. Uh, again, you can see the natural wood on the back, which is really nice. And it has got a flame top here, which um, Jeff Kiesel himself actually painted this awesome denim finish on, which I absolutely love. And yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And yeah, the neck is a five piece clear maple neck with a... Uh... I don't know what the stripes are. I think maybe they're white limber. I forgot. Maybe it's a black limber neck with maple stripes. I don't know. Let me know what you think this is. I think it's a black limber neck with maple stripes, it looks like, but I might be wrong. This is the worst guitar specs ever. I don't even know what the bloody wood is. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> But again, it is a satin finish, so it's super smooth, super soft, and this time the clear gloss ends where it should do, so um, that's very nice and satisfying to see. But yeah, it has a 14 inch radius uh, fretboard. It's a Royal Ebony fretboard with diamond mother of pearl inlays and stainless steel medium jumbo frets. Again, with the inlays, I'm trying to make it as obvious as possible so I can't get lost, even though I still always do. And another cool spec, all three of um, my keys was actually all have um, these glow in the dark um, fret markers down the side, which is really cool and actually surprisingly useful in a very dark gig. Now down here we have uh, the Beryllium bridge and neck pickups, both with chrome covers and there is a five way switch here. We also have the Tunomatic bridge with the tremolo system. Again, I love that I have access to a whammy bar on this guitar. It is a lot of fun. We have chrome hardware with uh, white pearl inlays, um, which I think is really, really cool. And there's also um, white pearl on the truss rods and the tuners as well, which I really like. There's a nice little color scheme going through this. And again, finally, the strings are tens to 46s, just how I like them. So I haven't played with this one quite as much as the other one just yet, um, so I've still got quite a lot to explore in terms of the sound and everything. This one is definitely a lot warmer and rounder in tone. I guess that's thanks to the um, real mahogany body and the semi-hollowness of it. So yeah, I'm really, really loving the sound of this one and the sustain is really cool as well. Playability wise, despite the hollowed out part here, it is pretty heavy. Um, mahogany is just a very heavy wood. That's the trade off for the tone really. But um, I don't really mind with this one as it's not my main guitar. I'm not gonna be doing any crazy tricks with this one. So um, yeah, I thought it would be nice to have a mahogany body guitar. The fretboard also feels a little bit wider than my uh, Kiesel. I don't know whether it actually is or if it's just like my brain playing tricks on me. 
But um, especially down here at the um, high frets, it feels like my fingers are traveling a longer distance when I'm like sweeping and stuff. So it could make shreddy stuff a little bit more challenging. But I definitely got this guitar more for like the pretty chordal stuff rather than hardcore shreds. When I got it, the action was quite high. So again, I've had to lower that quite significantly to get to a point where it's comfortable for me. Um, but you know, that's something that changes with every individual player, depending on what they prefer. I think I pretty much got it there in terms of how I like it set up. And it is feeling, looking and sounding very, very sexy indeed. I'm sure seeing these guitars is what actually put Luna on heat in the first place. I don't blame her. I think I'm coming on heat just looking at them. But I think whenever you get a new guitar, there's always a little bit of an adjustment period as it's very different to what you're used to. I reckon if I get more keezels though, I will opt for the Aries shape instead, which is this one, my old, old faithful. I just way prefer their shape to the other ones and how ergonomic they feel for me personally. They kind of give the illusion of being quite small and very thin, which is something I personally really, really like. And I think lends to the shred genre the best, at least for me. So this will always be my favorite child, to be honest. <laughs> but I do absolutely love the others as well. And um, I'm excited to see what new creative things I can come up with on them. I feel like whenever I get a new guitar, it suddenly sparks this new like creativity and passion, which I think is such a nice feeling. And that is it from me today, guys. Make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when the demos for each of the guitars come out. Let me know down in the comments what guitar specs you prefer as I'd be super super interested to hear your opinions on that and hear about what works for you. Also just a quick shameless plug as well, I am now live streaming on Twitch about three times a week or so. Uh, I am writing my shred versions over there, I'm playing some songs and just chatting and getting to know you guys on a more personal level and it's a really really good time so please come over, follow me on there and join the party. I haven't got a schedule just yet as I'm still new and I'm figuring out what times work best for everyone. So so yeah, make sure you follow me there and you follow me on my other social medias as well so that you will know when I go live and you can come and join in. And that is it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've made it this far into the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.